People ask me all the time, what's the worst car you've driven? My go-to answer used to be the Chevrolet Trax, a completely underwhelming, uninspired, oddly expensive little crossover that had none of the charm or likability of some other subcompact offerings. But now I'll have to rethink that answer because the 2024 Chevrolet Trax is actually really great. With a stylish exterior, an upgraded cabin, a fresh powertrain, and some necessary safety upgrades, the new Trax makes for a truly compelling and affordable subcompact. The previous Trax was a blob of generic nothingness, but the current model looks really stylish. The sleek front fascia is highlighted by a large lower grille and a slim upper grille that blends neatly into LED accent lights at each corner of the bumper. The real headlights sit lower down on the bumper on either side of the grille. This active model adds exclusive 18-inch black wheels, and the optional nitro yellow paint is one of the best colors Chevy offers anywhere. The interior is Ian's better than it once was. Faux black leather is the only material and color option on this active model, but it looks great and feels durable. There are soft touch points throughout the cabin with a few nicely textured hard plastic areas that don't feel egregiously cheap. The yellow accents that line the AC vents and dash add a nice pop of color. There's nothing remarkably comfy about the tracks. The ride is pliable and not too stiff, the seats are well-shaped but not overly cushy, and as with most economical SUVs, there's a good amount of exterior noise that makes its way inside. It's not the roomiest subcompact SUV, either, but it does have a decent amount of cargo space for the class and decent legroom. It's 25.6 cubic feet behind the second row, meanwhile, are second only to the Kia Seltos, while it's 54.1 cubes behind the first row or third to Kia and the Honda HRV. Analog gauges and an 8.0-inch touchscreen come standard on the Trax LS and 1RS, but the LT, 2RS, and Active trims add a larger, much nicer 11.0-inch touchscreen with a fully digital 8.0-inch instrument cluster at no cost. The center screen is clean, well-organized, and super crisp, which makes it easy to use on the go, while the digital instrument cluster mimics the center touchscreen with excellent graphics and easy configurability. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard, and wireless phone charging is baked into an $895 sunroof package. As with most subcompact SUVs, performance isn't a high priority for the tracks. But the standard turbocharged 1.2-liter three-cylinder engine offers 137 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque, which gives a decent low-end shove and admirable oomph at higher speeds for highway passing. The six-speed automatic is unremarkable in most use cases but can be a little sluggish when you're really hammering it. As for the suspension, there's a tinge of body roll in corners but the Trax feels well-sorted otherwise. The one big downside here is that the 2024 Trax does not offer all-wheel drive, even on the rugged active model, whereas a number of other subcompacts do. Every Trax is equipped with abundant active safety features out of the box. A forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking, a rear high-definition camera, a lane departure warning, and lane keep assist all come standard. But if you want the best stuff, Chevy asks extra for things like blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alert, lane change alert, and adaptive cruise control on LT models and above. At least it all works well when activated, the Trax keeps its composure in the lane and applies smooth braking and throttle inputs as needed. The new Trax is a great value no matter which way you slice it. The base model starts at $21,495 for 2024 with the $1,095 destination fee included, while the top trim active model tested here costs $24,995 out of the box. But even with options the Trax is a relative bargain. Options like the sunroof adds $895, adaptive cruise is another $650, and the nifty nitro yellow paint is $350. All told, the Trax tested here comes in at $26,935, which makes it an affordable choice when other competitive subcompacts can crest $30,000 with options.